Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get them all uploaded tonight, because from episode 57 onward, I still have to edit the videos, and that takes probably like 20-something minutes to do. At best, I'll be able to get up to 56 uploaded. Um, but, uh, this is not going to, it's going to be tomorrow by the time I get the rest of it uploaded and get super up. So, just be patient, everybody. It'll all get uploaded. Anyway, this is going to be my review for Dragon Ball Z Kai 2014, episode 59. And uh, we get the backstory on Kid Boo and how he uh, had, you know, gotten to the fat Boo that we know when they opened the ball. The reason that he is fat Boo. And how he got as much power as he did is, you know, Bibbidi was still controlling him and they went to the land of the Kais and started killing off the Kais. Some of them got absorbed. Uh, I think it was the North Kai and the Grand Kai that got absorbed. The other two got killed. But Shin was managed to survive that because the Grand Kai protected him and then got absorbed and that's how Fat Boo came to be. So Vegeta and the others or Vegeta and Ka uh, Goku they try to get Ki uh, Kid Trunk or Kid Boo sorry Kid Boo to fight them finish their fight but he just powers up an energy blast big enough that he could destroy the planet and he throws it at them. They try to grab the others so he Goku can use instant transmission and get the heck out of there. But Goku makes a choice. He sees Mr. Satan, Dende, and the puppy as well. And he, for some reason, goes to grab them instead of going to grab their kids and Piccolo. Why? Could somebody clarify with me as to why he did that? I know it works out in the end when he because he did that, but as to his reasoning behind just grabbing them at the time, I don't know why. But, uh, Shin appears in front of them after he grabs them. Since Goku can't use instant transmission because he has to have, be able to focus. And he kind of can't focus with a gigantic ball of energy going after him. And he grabs them. And they get out of there. And right before that, right after that happens, the planet goes boom. And now no Earth. Everything on that planet's gone. Goku, uh, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, Piccolo... Chaozu and Tien are all dead now. Again. Some of them again. Gohan, I think, is the only one... No, Gohan, Goten, and Trunks are the only ones who not have already died by now. Everybody else has already died at least once. That's the first time they've died. Now, they're on the land of the Kais, and you can probably guess that Mr. Satan, um, doesn't believe any of this is real. He thinks it's all a dream. And he tries to f tries to prove this by going out and just flying around. He jumps off a cliff, and you can guess what happens. And he falls, and bumps his head. And you would think he would realize that usually in a dream, you can't get hurt. That's how you know it's a dream. He gets hurt. And yet he doesn't realize, wait, I got hurt. This can't be a dream then. I guess he's in denial. But now that Kid Boo, yeah, Kid Boo, I almost said, I thought I almost said Kid Trunks again, but Kid Boo, now that he's destroyed the Earth, can somehow use the same ability that Kibito had that Shin used to transport to Earth to get the others and then come back. So now he's transporting to other worlds and just, just mass destroying them, essentially. The last planet he goes to is the planet that King Kai and the others are on. King Kai, Yamcha, Krillin, uh, North Kai or something, I think. Grand Kai, I don't know who, who else is on there, but... Uh, I assume everybody else is just waiting at King Yemba's place or something while this is going on. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry. And while this is going on, 
Uh, they mentioned deciding to use the Namekian Dragon Balls to try and fix things. But, uh, obviously the old Kai is not okay with this because he thinks that, he says the, dra the Dragon Balls are essentially not supposed to even exist. But they only allow the Namekians to use them because they're disciplined and they know not to use them except for only for, like, I guess, emergencies for their own people. Goku gets him to withdraw this protest by offering him some photos of up close and personal chest areas of a certain lady. Vegeta's here this time and asks him, Is this attractive woman Bulma? And, uh, yeah, Vegeta rightfully so yells at him and tells him, If you're gonna take nasty photos of a woman, then do it of your own wife, essentially. And, uh,. He said, gives the reasoning that Chi Chi's not as, uh, I guess not as fit, I think he said, as Bulma. And that's why he picked her, and besides, Chi Chi would kill him. Well, what do you think Bulma's gonna do? She'd probably kill you if she, tr if she saw you doing that. But, yeah. This ain't going well. But yeah, Goku never gives an answer to Vegeta as to why he grabbed Dende, Mr. Satan, and the puppy instead of grabbing his kid, their kids, essentially, and Piccolo. To be completely honest, it worked out better in the long run to me that he picked them, but as for, I don't know why he just grabbed them all of a sudden. No one, I don't think we ever get an explanation. Could somebody let me know, please? Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.